Good morning, everybody. Uh, a couple things to go over today. Um, first thing is I got a nightly build out finally. Uh, that went out this morning. It might take a couple hours for it to hit all the servers, um, but you should be able to go out and get that at some point today. Um, pretty much all the things that I said that I've made uh, breakthroughs on uh, for the past week or two uh, is included in this. Um, every I came across some more bugs and all that stuff started coming together this morning so this is the first time um, I was able to actually get it to completely work and the settings to save and for the settings to still uh, persist the next time Input Mapper was launched. Uh, so that just came together this morning so there might still be some bugs because I haven't had a chance to fully test everything uh, but it looks like it's close enough where you guys can help me uh, with doing some of your own testing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over here. And for the most part, um, things are the same. You are going to see a new tab in the settings here, Global Events. Uh, you can add events to Input Mapper itself so when it starts, when it loads, when it shuts down. Um, I'll also be adding uh, device arrival events, device removed events, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. So. Um, this new setting uh, allows me to pretty much just uh, pepper it anywhere in the application where I feel it could be useful. Uh, so I'll start adding, you know, this stuff in as I think of applications for it. Um, inside the app detection, uh, there is a there, the button that said that this isn't right uh, has been removed, and it's now replaced with uh, application profile tab. Uh, the UI here could still use a little help. That doesn't really look like a tab, but um, and basically you can do your overrides uh, from within here as well as the application events. Uh, so you can change things in here like this should be named Input Mapper. Um, and next time uh, you come into it, you see the name changes now. It's Input Mapper because it's using this profile. So, I mean, you can uh, change it to a game, change it to an application, yada yada, all that stuff. And of course, the, the app events here are present as well. Um, so all that stuff seems to be working. Uh, it really needs a lot more testing. Um, I need you guys to, you know, tinker around with it, see if it works for you. Uh, any suggestions, anything like that that you have, let me know. Um, other than that, uh, it looks like since that is probably close to done, I'm going to start focusing a little bit more on the polish of it. Um, this UI here is not as clean as I would like. Um, actually, I don't even need this detection tab anymore since that kind of gets covered in the, the profile detection conditions tab here. So, um, Alright guys, that's about it. Y'all have a good one.